This is Artists on Art. I'm here with okay. the fabulous Annie Sprinkle. And yes, of course it's okay. You look fabulous. <laughs> Annie Sprinkle is here in the house. Oh, Nada. Nada's here. I'm a huge fan, Nada. Oh, I'm I- <laughs> honored to be here with you. Uh, well, we're also here to honor Beth. <laughs> yes, this is about our Beth Stevens. Dear beloved Beth Stevens. Your wife. Yes. And art professor here at UCSC who has the most amazing celebration. She got her PhD yesterday. Yes, she got her PhD at UC Davis. Uh, in the performance studies department, we went yesterday and, and they filed the papers and pushed the button and rang a little bell. And she's now officially Dr. Elizabeth Stevens. And we'll have to call her Dr. Beth. We don't want her head to get too, too big, but <laughs> she's very happy, oh, as, uh, as am I. Oh, it's it's been a few years for her. And her dissertation was about environmental art and uh, about Joseph Boys, the Harrisons, and our work together. We've been collaborating 13 years, and uh, it's really quite good. It is. And another thing to celebrate is that Beth is a winner of the Rydell Visual Art Fellow. She is a, a, a prize winner. Yes, this is one of the biggest honors for an artist in Santa Cruz. That's Uh, right. And the exhibition begins this Friday, December 4th, and it runs through January 29th at the Blitzer, our Blitzer Gallery. The R Blitzer is in the Wrigley Building, the Owl Building on Mission Extension as you're going out of town on Highway 1 off of Swift Street. Well, you take Swift to Mission Extension and... The Art Blitzer uh, Blitzer Gallery has had fabulous exhibitions, and this year they will be doing the Rydell Visual Arts Fellows Exhibition, which includes Jody Alexander, Jim Denovan, and R. Elizabeth Stevens. And so this is the opening night, Friday night, at December 4th from 5 to 9 p.m. And and so the the work, though, that that is going to be represented is work that you've done together. Yes, yes. Tell us what people might be able to see. Well, I think this is a really great show if you love the earth, if you love nature. Uh, all three artists um, speak about, work, their work speaks about loving the earth. Um, I think, I'm not sh- you know, at least ours does. Um, and And two years ago, Beth was awarded this fellowship. It's a two-year... Grant, and so you get it. We got it two years ago. She did, and now we have to show what we've done with with the grant, which is twenty thousand dollar grant. Oh, we can't talk money. Oh. but I don't know. It's interesting. Well, I, well it's, you know, a, it's, it's the grant. It's a grant. It's, it's a great. Comp- we're not selling grant. anything. No, I it's mean, a prize. It's a it's prize. A prize. Uh, and and people uh, get it. You don't get to uh, apply for this. This is yes. given to you. Somebody yes. uh, sponsored her or or nominated, nominated her, yes. and so uh, mm-hmm. and it was for the work that you would say was it for yeah, the ecosexuality our collaborative uh, work, and so for two years we 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 actually have built this pollination pod together and it's a big it's a really cool camper and we worked with uh, some students and with Luke Wilson um, Jason uh, who built the top hey we renovated this old camper and made it into a kind of jewel box theater uh, cafe library back it's a projection booth it's a movie theater it's a multi-purpose mobile unit and we tried to get it in the elevator because we were going to display it but it was we 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 couldn't get it in like by three inches yeah so we had like six of us yesterday trying to push this pot into the elevator but alas we have plan b which is going to be uh some video installation and uh, some vitrines with ephemera and it's about the last two years that we've worked together and And would you say that the last two years were uh, largely composed of ecosexuality 
Yeah, Beth and I are exploring the idea of Earth as lover. A lot of people think of the Earth as a mother a archetype, and uh, so we're kind of switching that up and and exploring the sensuality of nature and and treating the nature the the Earth with great affection and love. Wonderful. And we're going to talk to Beth Stevens in just a second. But I also want to mention, Annie, you're doing something tonight. Yes. Tonight, Wednesday, December 2nd at 7 p.m., we're going to have the last screening of the quarter, Cherry, Harry, and Raquel. Is that right? It is a Russ Meyer film. Uh, Russ Meyer was uh, a very popular sexploitation film back in the day in the 60s, 70s. And they're going to show it with a film called Annie, which is a 10-minute film about me by Monica Troit. And I'm going to talk about uh, films about sexuality from the old days. And, uh, and yeah. And people uh, people can go to Communications 150. That's where uh, Studio C, which is a beautiful room, a uh, beautiful screening room, and it's in the film and digital media department, in case you don't know what Communications 150 is. And again, that's tonight, December 2nd at 7 p.m., Cherry, Harry, and Raquel. This is by the director who did Faster, Pussycat, Kill, Kill, and Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. But we're going to take a quick little interlude with a little more Nina... Ooh. Oh, love Nina Smith. Oh yeah, if I can get her up here, and uh, and we'll give uh, we'll give Beth Stevens a call real quick. We got Beth Stevens here on the phone. I am ready. <laughs> what was that, Beth? <laughs> That's my class. That's your class. I'm here with my class today, with the most brilliant students at UC Santa Cruz. Here in my intermediate class. And on Friday, we're going to have open studios, and we're going to blow everyone away. And then we're going to go to the Rydell Show. And the Rydell Show is going to be fabulous. Congratulations, Beth. <laughs> Thank I have you. To, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Can you hear now? Oh, I'm oh, trying to hear. Annie's trying to, trying to listen. Oh, my in. gosh. Um, so, Beth, congratulations on getting your Ph.D. I just, I know how hard this has been for you. And going to UC Davis while teaching classes here at UCSC. Um, but you did it, girlfriend. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Nada. It was really fun. It was more fun than it was hard. Oh, but writing the dissertation was hard. Well, it was interesting. You know, most <laughs> artists, it's not really a natural thing for an artist to sit to sit still for so long. That was right. the problem. Exactly. It was just being still. <laughs> So tell us uh, about the Rydell Prize. Uh, congratulations again. This is the end of the two-year fellowship. Oh, thank you. And I just want to thank the Rydell Commission and the Santa Cruz County Commission, because I'll tell you, this is such a fabulous thing for an artist. I mean, it was just amazing to realize that I had, you know, some time and space to really explore things. And so, believe you me, Annie and I did some exploration. All right. I like it. And <laughs> experimentation. In the... Uh, yeah. Exo, <laughs> ecosexual realm. Yes, we did. So what class? We we're pollinating the ecosex movement. Wonderful, and you're doing we're like two little bees in a pod. <laughs> and over there, uh, Beth is working with her class right now, setting up for open studios, which is also on Friday, and their class is doing some amazing, really cool stuff too. What class is this, Beth? Oh, this is the intermediate uh, rock star class. Uh, rock star? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I want to take that class. <laughs> got some great, I know, it's great a great students. class. Can, I'm so like, happy my classroom is just blowing up right now. It's great. <laughs> and your classroom is lo located in the arts department here at UCSC. Oh, yes, Baskin Visual Arts. We are P108, P like pod. <laughs> pollination pod <laughs> exactly uh, so beth we gotta go i gotta i gotta talk to somebody else thank you so much for taking time out from your class say hello to everybody there and okay let's say goodbye to nada bye nada bye <laughs> <laughs> thank you have a great day y'all 
So, Annie, uh, we turn to you now. You have some people you want to thank. Yes. Uh, Beth and I work very collaboratively and work with a lot of students and other artists, and I just want to give them a shout-out. Luke Wilson, who's done some building of a redwood TV tree, and Ramira, Maria Ramirez and Heidi Kramer are, are helping us set up the show. Guillermo Gomez-Pena, who's a great artist, is is a, represented... Um, Mick Daryl Rupel made a really cool table that, oh, our Pollination Pod will be outside the gallery, okay. and everyone's invited to come and come in the Pollination Pod and, and watch a film. Uh, Matt Jameson, who is a map maker, uh, helped us make a map. Jason LeVay is the one that built the top of the pod. Peter Harris is helping us make some prints. Seth Temple Andrews helped us make some photographs. Sean Pace and Alex Kahn heroically tried to help us push that pod into the elevator, <laughs> and they deserve a lot of credit. And uh, by the way, we did uh, push the pod in the San- Santa Cruz Pride Parade with a lot of students and people from Santa Cruz, including you, Inada, and we will have a video of that in oh, the in the show. Wonderful. Well... Annie, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. I wish you the best. Mm. I want to just make sure everybody knows what to do, where to go. You want to come out tonight and see Cherry, Harry, and Raquel. Annie will be talking, and there will be a little movie called Annie about her tonight, December 2nd, 7 p.m. at Studio C in the Communications 150 building. That's the Film and Digital Media Department building. And then also this Friday, the Rydell Fellowship Exhibition is at the Blitzer Gallery in Santa Cruz from 5 to 9 p.m., this is a uh, exhibition that runs until the end of January. I wanted to just tell you really quickly the um, the gallery times is um, so it runs December fourth through January twenty ninth. That's two thousand and sixteen, and the gallery hours are Tuesday through Saturday, eleven a.m. to five p.m. And the Art Blitzer Gallery is located at two eight zero one Mission Street. If you need more information, please go to rblitzergallery dot com. If you want more information on ecosexuality, where do they go, Annie? Um, sexecology dot org. And um, by the way, the there's a party Friday night at the opening, and then all day Saturday from like two to five, I think it is. Also, we'll have the pod out there, so yeah. they can't make it Friday come Saturday. Great, we gotta uh, we gotta say goodbye to okay. Annie and uh, stay tuned, everybody. We're gonna just take a quick interlude and come back with Michael Samet talking about the Slugs and Roses party happening Friday night. Ooh.